guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to i'm going to show you how i will be whipping my shea butter um on the screen there's a list of things that i included in this mixture first of which is the unrefined shea butter sweet almond oil vegetable glycerin amla hair oil coconut oil um jamaican castor oil and some essential oils which is not necessary all depends if you want it first thing I'm going to be softening my shea butter some people choose to do it over a stove I don't I haven't got that kind of time so what I do is I use my microwave um, I need to stress that you must not totally melt like liquidize your shea butter it will not whip um, you need to just soften the shea butter and um, and then you can begin whipping if you find that it's too stiff when you put the whisk in then you might need to put it back in the microwave just for five seconds not more than five seconds at a time because trust me this thing can become oil in a second so advice that you don't walk away when you're softening your shea butter um, so I'm going to whisk the shea butter on its own until it's fluffy and there you go it might still be stiff but that's not a problem for me anyway because i will be um melting my coconut oil to oil to oil form that's the liquid form i mean you can always buy the fractionated coconut oil but i like to buy this one that's solid at room temperature and i'll be whisking that right into the mixture and um then i'll be adding my other oils after that because those ones are liquid at room temperature um, I'm going to be adding my amla oil which is derived from the Indian um, gooseberry it's full of fatty acids amazing for hair it um, helps prevent hair loss promotes hair, co uh, um, hair um, your hair quality totally and fight baldness but that's um, because this mixture is for hair um, when I'm mixing for body, I don't include um, hair oil. I could use avocado oil, I could use carrot oil, or um, quite a few wonderful carrot oils out there. Do your research. So I've added all my um, oils um, in the quantities that I've listed on the screen. And I'm going to whip this until it's um, nice whitish and fluffy i'm gonna get my strays in i've been whisking um <laughs> i've been whipping shea butter um since 2006 i remember and i've I've never had to buy any product for my hair um i've had i think about four or five big chops in the past 13 years every time i have a baby i cut my hair see i cannot deal with the stress um but my hair each time grows for at least a good 13 inches or more um yeah but it's okay so now we're actually done our shea butter is ready so to be honest with you you can put this in a, a, a container ready for use or you can put some fragrance in i like to put a bit of um essential oil fragrance nothing too much use it sparingly essential oils can be very dangerous so i advise you use it very sparingly i'm only putting a few drops in each um batch and i'm gonna put them in jars and they're ready to go on the table this batch is for my friend so i'm going to be putting them in the jar and sending them to her at this point i'd like to say thank you so much for um watching my tutorial i hope you get to mix yours and if you're already mixing yours and you um want to add to this let's meet in the comment sec comment section let's um get the conversation going let's talk about it and don't forget to share this video like and subscribe and until next time i'd like to say god bless see you later bye